You're mistaken. I have him under control. And not just him. They're all leading out of my hand. I regret that Voltest is away at the summit, but I trust you'll tend to the King's Council. I assume you've resolved matters with Livarden as well. Yes. I made an offer and he accepted. He claims his superiors had similar plans, but we beat them to it. Men can do nothing but talk and then always claim the initiative. And how is your Witcher? I should be able to convince him. Don't overdo it. Geralt can be exceptionally perceptive. I know. I must get back. I'll contact you when it's all over. Never let the Witcher guess what you hide from him. Triss? Should you be up? I'd rather make sure you've recovered completely. How? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. Well, you seem to be at full strength. It must be that unusual Witcher's metabolism. Triss, how did I get here? Pure coincidence. I was scanning for magic anomalies and happened upon a false trail set by Kalkstein. You found me in the swamp? What happened there? I don't know. The Alchemist is still there, examining solid stone. But he won't find anything. The greater anomalies are here in Vizima. Magic anomalies in Vizima? Yes. I'd appreciate it if you could help me figure them out. But back to your health. I thought I was at full strength. You misunderstood me. Physically, nothing's wrong. It's your mind that worries me. Explain. You raved for hours. I had no choice but to read your thoughts to learn about your injuries and which poisons you took this time. I'm sure you read beyond that. I couldn't help it. Your thoughts were quite loud. In any case, I know about your recent adventures. Can you help me? Recover your memory? I doubt anyone can, but there's a small chance... A small chance of what? From what I saw, I think you would benefit by creating a stable personality. Meaning? Geralt, please, this is important. Just limit the psychobabble. You need to take a stand on the world's problems. It doesn't matter what position, just that you choose one. A strong identity may help restore your memory. Can't you just tell me what you saw? No, I don't want you turning into my vision of Geralt. I want you to decide for yourself who you are, without looking back. I shouldn't take an interest in the past? Exactly. Your memory should return in due course. We'll see. Geralt. You said something about magic anomalies. Various things can cause them, but more importantly, they can be the cause of true evil. When I last felt this way, you and a sorceress were trying to capture a genie, destroyed half a city in the process. You probably have no recollection, but a lot hung in the balance. I don't recall. I could use your help. I have some magic sensors that need to be placed around Vizima. They'll help us locate the anomaly source. All right. Give me the sensors. I'll take care of it. Always eager to please. What are friends for? Hmm. I saw a perfect wall cavity in the trade quarter near Town Hall. Place one there, a second in the temple quarter near the entrance to the sewers, and the third in Vizima's cemetery. We'll create a typical Radcliffe Triangle. You know, of course, that triangulation is most effective in these cases. How did you get here? Long story. When you men went chasing around... Which proved effective. By some miracle, I decided to look for Salamandra using unconventional methods. Any results? Very good ones. You'll learn it all in due time. Why not now? To get this information, I had to agree not to tell you. Patience, Witcher. Who were you talking to through the mirror? You heard me? Ah, sorceress business. Nothing important. Sounded serious. I had to make a few promises to learn about Salamandra. You could. Trust me, it was nothing important. I'll see you later. See you. Oh, I nearly forgot. What? Luvarden, a merchant, wants to see you. He hosts banquets at the new Naracourt. I don't like banquets. Important people will attend. I don't know. Including Princess Ada, whose curse you lifted? Apparently, she's slightly obsessed with you. I'll think about it. I'll be there. All right, I'm convinced. 
Maybe I can gather some information there. Six this evening. Here's the pass that makes you official in the trade quarter. A pass? Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. How'd I miss that? It only covers the trade quarter, which you haven't entered. So how do these passes work? Only the quarter's residents are allowed to move about. I have a house here, so I was able to get a pass. So what do I do? Well, I registered you as residing here. Falsely, of course. Listen, about my identity. Progress already? I'm still analyzing. Geralt. I'll see you later. You! Stop! Yes? Your pass. You're overdoing it with the passes. Complain to the king. He's returned? No, but all new edicts bear his seal. Farewell. Exhaust. Quite the dangerous one bearing weapons on What's your that? back. Why did they take Princess Ada's pony away from her? She would have found it difficult to digest. Geralt of Rivia. In the flesh. You manage to avoid the quarantine and gain official support. Martial law is in effect. Wartime rules apply. I'll do my best to comply. You'd better. Traitors taste steel. What was that about martial law? King Faltest has declared martial law in Vizima. Why is that? The plague's in half the kingdom, and monsters roam the city streets. And the quarantine and patrols aren't enough? Never you mind. Uh, I'm looking for... I'm a high-ranking officer. But I just wanted to. That means A wink was that? Plow secrecy! All know I sell information. What'll it be? Tis the calm before the storm in old Vizima. We'll soon learn the non-humans' plans. Damn, it's hot in this thing. Should I eat honey? Scheme of food. Geralt, I'm glad you're here. I'm not in the mood for music, Dandelion. We'll talk later. Geralt, I promised to perform for all these people and I don't have my loot. Then you have a problem. Geralt. How did you get in the trade quarter? Personal charm and fame open a lot of doors. I doubt city guards appreciate poetry. Geralt, you know so little. I approached a wealthy merchant whose daughter studied loot under me. With all the right contacts, he obtained a pass for me, thus demonstrating his appreciation for art. Sadly, we're no longer friends. What happened to your loot? Hmm, long story. Tell you over a drink?
Ugh, oh, forgot how tough you were. <laughs> Got up the courage to tell me about the loot? I guess. My loot's at the home of a rich merchant. The house is on the west side of Salt Square. And I can't possibly leave. The crowd awaits. Why wouldn't you tell me earlier? Well, the merchant caught me giving his daughter lessons. In what? Relax, Geralt. Music. All right. I'll fetch your loot. Wonderful. What's so special about this loot? It's the one I got from Teruviel in the Valley of Flowers, remember? Who's Teruviel? The she-elf from the Blue Mountains. You did quite a number on her nose when you two first met. Where is she now? I heard she joined the Scoyatel. I wonder if she's still alive. In the Valley of Flowers? I even wrote a ballad about that, where the devil says goodnight. I'll be singing it today. I remember that. Great. So you know why I want that loot back. Tell me about this merchant. Uh, all right. Truth is, he's got reasons to dislike me. What did you do this time? Let's say his daughter and I got to know each other without permission. Typical. Luckily, last time I visited, I made her pretty happy. So she hid the loot for me in a trunk on the upper floor. All right. I'll do my best to find it. A witcher? They said your kind was extinct. Very nearly. I'm Geralt. I'd rather not reveal my true name, my knightly vows. If you wish, you may call me Patrick de Wazy. <clears throat> of the, uh, Flaming Rose? Indeed, I'm a member. Perhaps you could lend me some assistance. With what? My sister. Will you hear her story? One day we found her unconscious in bed. Blood trickled from fang marks on her neck. We had no doubts. A vampire. Fang marks don't necessarily mean a vampire. These clearly did. For after a time, my sister disappeared. She must have been transformed and then escaped. If she is a vampire, I'll have to. Above all, I would like you to find her. Confirm our suspicions. All right. I'll look for your sister. You should have no trouble recognizing her. None can ignore her as your eyes. She is a slim, beautiful blonde. I'll do what I can. Yes? Do you know one Siegfried of Danael? Indeed. What news of him? He is due to be promoted. In fact, he possibly has been already. I don't know, we never speak. Can you tell me why? He is transformed since the swamp. I said to him, Honorable Siegfried, I congratulate you. Your honor and faith vanquished the pagan rabble. He gazed upon me strangely, saying, Honorable? Perhaps. Honor and faith? Certainly not. We were victorious, for they were hungry and poorly armed. A bit of blood, and he has forgotten all about honor. He should follow his father's example. Where can I find him? His father? Dead. Purportedly torn apart by a manticore. I meant Siegfried. He trains recruits in front of the Order's seat in the Temple Quarter. Master Louvarden requests your company at six in the evening. You'll only bring trouble. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? Tell me about the meetings that occur upstairs. The noble Louvarden of the Merchants Guild rented the first floor of my inn. I'm to supply food and drink and keep my mouth shut. I'm invited. Tell me more. If so, you know all you need to know. If you feel you don't, honor my discretion. Maybe some gold will untie your tongue. I like gold. 
but you can't possibly pay me as much as Luvarden. Besides, I'd rather not annoy his backers. Who's backing Luvarden? Quiet! I've said too much already! Oh, forgive me. Busy now. I was once invincible, the Great White Hope. Huh? Now I loiter around cesspools because of one fight. You were a warrior? A boxer. I had fans galore. Women, gold. And now? What happened? Judges disliked blows below the belt. They disqualified me. I see. I fought until... Until? I fought the lion. Did he? One punch. Deadly. And I realized I'd never win. I've worn a hood ever since to avoid being recognized. After one punch? It was a spiritual transformation. I can take you. A wager, huh? Two hundred orins. Any rules? No weapons, no armor. Right. Two hundred orins. I'm in. No changes! <laughs> Did you train with the lion? I'm a witcher. I win. Take your prize. I'll take the magical sign and the runic stone. Here. I'm itching to its summer. It's not every day I get an illustrious customer like you. Greetings. Can I help you? Lovely inn. You must host many an illustrious guest. True, though not many since this state of emergency. Any other interesting customers? You are nosy. Terrible fault. I have a terrible fault too. I'm greedy as hell. <laughs> I knew we'd agree. I've got nothing against gossiping about my customers now. I'm listening. Oh, these suspicious types have been coming here for a while. The soldiers ignore them. I gather they wear salamander symbols. You know them. Ever listen in? They speak softly. I've heard very little. I'm sure they've said something interesting. Hmm. I overheard them talking about a password to an underground complex. Was it a workshop? What was the password? One said the word, Thorn. Thanks for the information. Bye. <laughs> and the Zerikan market is the future of commerce. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Lord Levarden's Feast. Smile, Witcher. This won't take long. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. Buy low, sell high. Rejoice in the profits and make the books look Get out of my sight, freak.
Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Marigold, and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties, you could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet, I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. Get out of my sight, freak. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Princess Adda is more than dead at the Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Luvarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. speaks. I broke my vow. I swore on a heron. A heron? Nonsense. Tala hired me to come incognito to the feast. You blew it. No scene, please. This ring will get you in the house of the night. Half price. Princess Ada should marry. Old Vizima's ashes still smolder, and the royal family consorts with the Nilf Guardian. No money. We need only raise taxes. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. 
You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I have the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade, there will be no room for your neutrality. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. To marry an intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is DeWet, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dicks too small, so he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvarden somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Luvarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Excuse me for a moment. We'll talk later. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. 
Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Uh, must go. Later. The food will disappear soon. I'm busy now. Excuse me, Geralt. I must speak with the garden. That cheating dwarf is here. A Redanian spy, a witch, and a mutant. Disgraceful! We cannot all be city councillors. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? The similarities are evident. Allow me one jest, Witcher. Very well. A countess said to a count, Shall I have dinner served? What a waste. Perhaps we might go for a walk. What a waste. May I ask a riddle then? Very well. What is warm, hairy, and dives into holes? A cock. Not at all. A mouse. A mouse in a cunt. What a waste. <laughs> Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Louvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. You may be right, Your Highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> may I ask you a question? Go on. What is the King's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, oh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. I shall return shortly, Your Highness. I'm listening. What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Throat's dry. Relax, Burgermeister. The party's just beginning. I'm listening. Can I ask about politics? I thought you were a decent fellow. When will the king return? Everybody's asking that question today. I tell everyone the same. He'll return in due course. I hope so. Throat's dry. Relax, Burgermeister. The party's just beginning. I'm listening. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents scour the realm to fetch her treats. Thanks.
Geralt. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. Be discreet. But... Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. I'm busy now. Silk is out of fashion. Spy? A witch? Disgraceful! Why are you here? Huh? I, I was looking for the privy. In that box? Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. How'd it go? Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Cataplepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac, who looked a lot like you, arrived in Visima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepus meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepus throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepus, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Geralt. Ah, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. Cataplepis steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. The food will disappear soon. Do you have something tasty for me? Steak tartare of Cataplepis. Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, Your Highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics.
politics. Mm -hmm. I've no interest in politics. Finally, politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. Your Highness promised me an answer. What are you waiting for? Undress! Your Highness. I shall answer in due course. But first, I must know if those legends about your sword are true. I must refuse. Stop playing games, Geralt. Everything has its limits, including my patience. I'll not be your toy. I expected as much. Shame. Our meeting could have been more pleasant. Yet I always keep my word. King Faltest, my beloved father, treats me like a child, and children dare not dabble in politics. Soon he will see how blind he was. That is all. You may go. Your Highness. Be gone. I wish to be alone. Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer, one I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. Not finding this party dull. Anything more interesting in mind? <sighs> At home, Geralt. At home. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful! It's as we've heard! All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. Our spies say there's a new Salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The Salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one Witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you.